here's the deal. Uh, this composition that I have right in front of us has a tree on the left. It has a um, flower patch right down here. And it has these trees in the background. And I like this tree a lot. And you can see the elements that I caught there with the limbs going up. And so that's further back. And this tree here is closer to me. And some of the branches sort of go over and they come down on the side. And then in the foreground, there's all this foliage on the ground. But in real life, you can't take this picture. You can't take a photograph of it just like this. Because when I'm painting these things, I'm painting so close to them. So this tree right here, and this grass right here, so let's look, go look at that. So I'm sitting here, and about 10 feet away from me, maybe 12 feet away from me, is this tree that goes up, and it's got the ivy on it. And it goes up, up, up. And then the branches go out. And if we go over here, then you can see this other tree. But there's a lot of stuff going on in that tree. And then you'll notice there's other trees around it. And then down here we do have the flowers. And that's maybe about five feet from me. But there's no way to size up everything and take a photo of it and then paint off the photo and one of the things I like to do is sit close to the subject and paint it but then there's stuff in the background too there's all kinds of trees in the background this tree row here continues there's trees here, and there's trees here. But for for this painting, I've got to decide, okay, what's in the background? And there's stuff going on back here. There's no lake back there. And there's stuff over here. And there's branches on this tree that I left out. But I really like this. So this painting, in a sense, is the drawing that I hope to someday be able to realize. And this is the closest that I get to it. So, light changes. So, the light on that tree is a different time of day, and, and the light's on this side of the tree, here, and it's illumined over here, but sometimes I have to come out and paint the rest of it just right to try to get what I want. See, there's all those trees over there. And all I'm interested in is this right up here. That's all I care about. And you can see it's rather close. So I was looking at another painting I have that has a pond that goes back and I put that in and I didn't know if it was going to work but I like it and uh, one of those pictures I had had the artist seated over here so I put up set up a mirror to get the back side of myself painting something and but I'm putting it in there and so there's a tree that goes up here and then I've just whited other areas out so you can't see those trees. You can't see the trees that were here. You can't see the trees that were there. And there's probably stuff going on down here. But I'm choosing not to do it. So, here's the tree in the background. And I'm including that. But see, there's all kinds of stuff over here that I've left out. 
and there's stuff over here that I've chosen to leave out and the lake would have been right over here and I blocked all that out because I don't need that there's all these other distractions so I'm looking at what I'm seeing and I want to keep some things but other things need to be blocked out I don't want them part of this design so I'm choosing not to do some parts I mean I look at all this detail you just go nuts doing over all this ivy and maybe someday I'll be able to do ivy but right now I can't and I've got some hints of the ivy and I've got some of the lightness there but this is a drawing I'm drawing with paint I'm drawing it I'm checking it out um, this shadow is really important to me but this branch is hinted at and it's a lighter color so it blends in with this background because I want there to be a focus somewhere and right now the focus is this darker shape right here and this see back this back here that's a lighter color because I want it to be there but not be there so strong and that's why this is faint too because it's there but it doesn't have to be so strong this I want strong this And all the time that I'm painting, I'm trying to work from a palette so that this color here is in harmony with this color here. And I use some of that same color over here. And I think I use some of that color down here. So, putting placement, colors. So there's a lot of wrestling with this. And so far this is what I have. And I like it, and I want to keep it.